everybody, welcome back. So um, we are going to be talking about a very cool album today. Um, so this one is probably my favorite of this artist that I've spoken about so far. Um, this is Jimmy Smith at the organ, uh, Uno 1525, um, and they consider this uh, volume three. So Blue Note 1525 Volume 3, Jimmy Smith. And this has the same exact lineup um, as it did on uh, the 1514, I believe, was the one that had Donald Bailey on drums. Um, so this has the same lineup as that. It's got Jimmy Smith, um, Jimmy Smith, Thornell Swartz on um, guitar, and then Donald Bailey on drums. Um, and this one by far, I think, is it like this is an awesome album. This is a great album compared to 1512 and 1514. Um, definitely, you can hear that there's it's much more polished. It's so in the pocket. All three of them together are great. Um, once more, man, oh man, was I impressed with Thor Thornell Swartz on this on this album. I have another Jimmy Smith album actually that I'm going to review later on. Um, that um, and I'll show you the cover of it just so you can get a reference point. But it's this one. It's Jimmy Smith plays Pretty For You. And on this one, it has Eddie McFadden on guitar instead of Thornell Swartz. And my goodness, it is such a stark difference. Like, Thornell Swartz was such a great guitar player, and he totally makes these albums. Like, it's the combination of Jimmy and him that make these albums by far just so amazingly great. Um, you can see that there's seven tracks on this album. Um, and I do apologize, I'm playing it in the background, and um, if it ends up that we hear like uh, a couple of little splurts of uh, in-between tracks, my record player actually broke, and so I can't physically play the record, so I'm actually playing it, uh, I'm playing a digital version of the record, and it has ads in it, so I apologize if, um, if in fact uh, you hear an ad, I'll just skip through it really quick. Um, but, uh, so to go through the tracks on this, um, we get, like I said, there's seven tracks on this album, and man oh man, it is so good. Um, so this is the first track on the album. This is, uh, this is a Judo Mambo, and uh, you can hear right off the bat, like this is a super swinging song, um, absolutely out the gate, just, it's super swinging, it's got everything that, you know, you're looking for in a great, um, great blues, dra you know, jazz track to it, the guitar playing is just awesome, there's a really good drum solo that comes up in it, um, there's just these great riffs between Jimmy and between Thornell that are just killing on this album. Like, this is my favorite Jimmy Smith album by far. Um, absolutely incredible album. Um, so that's track one. We're listening to it now. Track two is uh, Willow Weep for me. That's a ballad. And there's great drumming on that. But probably the thing on that album, on that song that makes that song for me more than anything else is that there's space in it. So later Jimmy Smith, for me, I'm not, and I mentioned this in the 15, 12, and 14 video, like, I'm not nuts about, and here's that great drum solo, I'm not nuts about Jimmy Smith when he has that sheets of sound sound to him, but when he has space and he gives time to hear the organ really with the vibrato of it and just let the notes actually play them, you know, play out and fill the space, I love that type of playing by Jimmy Smith, and that will a weep for me really has that sort of playing in it. Um, track three is Lover Come Back to Me, and the, just again, the, the, the guitar runs in that are amazing. And, and Thornell does these great pentatonic runs in it. They're absolutely outstanding. And just overall, his playing in that is so good. Like, I'm so impressed with Thornell Swartz compared to what, you know, some other guitar players that I hear, like, um, it's killer. It's so good. Listen to that drum line in this song, too. Like, it's so good. And that weird sound effect that Jimmy's doing with the organ is so cool. Um, and, uh, and that run right there, too. Like, it's so awesome. Um, this is such a good album. So that's track three. Um, track four is flipping over to side two. And that is called Well, You Need It. And um, uh, Well... 
yeah, well, you need it. And that's actually a monk song. So it's really cool actually to hear Jimmy Smith do a monk song. Like, I don't know of any other monk songs that he covered, at least on any albums that I have of Jimmy Smith. So it was really cool to hear that. Um, and uh, on that, there's this great solo by Swartz that has Jimmy playing in the background which is so cool um, and cool. We just went straight in, which is awesome. Um, and uh, there's this great solo by Swartz. And here's that space I was talking about on track two. Like there's so much space and Bailey's filling it in with some nice symbols. It's a beautiful track. Um, but back to While You Need It, um, Swartz does this great solo and Jimmy actually has this counter melody underneath him, which is so awesome. Um, absolutely awesome and overall on that song and I think in general on this album uh, you get Donald Bailey really playing to what is needed for the song which is so important for a drummer and a, and a bass player as well like what you know this doesn't have a bass player obviously because you got Jimmy playing the bass notes on the organ but when you get a bass player and a drummer who are playing to what the song needs it makes the song so much stronger and gives such a foundation for it compared to them being so like off compared to who the you know the other players in the band are so Bailey's playing on this is so on point it's so exactly what you need for this song uh, for you know, for for the songs that he plays on, um, track five is Fiddle in the Miners, and this is just a really fast, grooving song. Um, I know I keep going back to it every time, but my goodness, like the guitar solo by Swartz again is absolutely outstanding. Unbelievable guitar solo, great organ solo on that as well. It's just solid in the pocket playing by both of them. And that's what makes this album so good. It is so in the pocket. Um, track six is Autumn Leaves, it's jazz standard, beautiful ballad. Um, again, Jimmy does a lot of space like he's doing in Willow Weep for you, which is really cool. Just a ton of space really allows for that ability for things to fill out and really fill, you know, give, let the song speak for itself instead of just sounds echoing for the sake of sound. And that's really what I like about these early Jimmy Smith albums is that he really is allowing the song to speak instead of him just arbitrarily filling a lot of space. And um, so that's his take on Autumn Leaves. And then the last song is called I Cover the Waterfront. And it's a medium tempo song. And really what stands out on that song is that Jimmy's doing these great bass, this awesome bass line that has these octaves in it that he's really flipping between different octaves in the bass line. It's so cool. It gives it such an awesome, like just different feel than anything else on this album. And it really just sets it apart from everything else. It's such a great bass line. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, this is a really cool album. Uh, in my opinion, this is the best Jimmy Smith album in the 1500 series. And also I think that cover is really cool. So this is a Reed Miles cover with a Francis Wolf picture. And like that looks like a picture you could see on an album today. And it'd be absolutely outstanding. You'd still want to pick this up in any store. Like it's so inviting. It looks like something that would be great. Um, just absolutely awesome cover. Um, old Blue Note cover. Um, it's got that old Lexington Avenue address. And that's the really cool thing about these Jimmy Smiths. Like you can get original pressings of these and they are not that expensive. And they sound awesome. You know, like I said, I'd be playing mine right now for you, but um, my cartridge actually broke. And so um, I don't really feel like ruining my records right now um, because the cartridge just drops. Like as soon as it touches the record, it just caves right down and it's actually running across the top of the record, um, which is uh, obviously not good. So I'm waiting for my replacement cartridge to come. So in the interim, I had to improvise. But that's Jimmy Smith, 1525, volume three. I highly recommend this album. If you're gonna look for a Jimmy Smith album, this is the one to get in my opinion in the 1500 series. It is killer. Um, there's a lot of reissues of it. You can find them. Um, so you don't have to go crazy to try to wait for an original, but if you wanted to, they're not that expensive. You can get them for like 30 or 40 bucks for an original Lexington, which is amazing. Like 
there's really nothing else in the 1500 series you can get them priced at that reason it's because jimmy smith album sold well um and they're really good you know i was a late jimmy smith converter um and i gotta say i, I wish i would have gotten them earlier because they're a really good um really just solid stuff so uh hopefully you enjoyed jimmy smith volume three at the organ blue note 1525 thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Uh, and uh, I will uh, actually see you for the next entry in the series as well, which is coming up in the 1540s. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.